What is up everybody, I'm your host Express Near, and today I'm going to be bringing to you guys a really nice gameplay here, and today I decided that I was just going to use some, a couple of the secondaries, I was looking around, t t testing out a bunch of guns, because I just prestige, so I wanted to see what was new and what was good, so I got, I don't even remember what level I got this gun at, but uh, here I'm going to be using the B23R in this gameplay, and the, I'm going to be using extended mags on it. So instead of having 15 bullets in the clip, I'm going to be having 21. So instead of having the, I think it's five shots that you have, you have the chance of shooting seven times. So in this game, I'm going to be using the B23R, and it's going to be some kill confirmed. So this is going to be a really nice gameplay for me to get some nice kill streaks going on. And I'm going to do a lot of mad work on these kids. And I really wanted to help you guys out with a bunch of tips and why this gun is really good. And the easiest ways that you can use this gun to the maximum potential that it has so that you can get the most amount of kills out of it. So, you're going to see me, and I'm going to be getting a lot of tags here. And the main thing that I think I did in this game with my kill streaks was because, because I had them set up the way that I did, I think it, it helped me out a lot because I have a 100 killer drone, then I have an orbital VSAT, and then a load star. And the reason I chose it in this way is because I decided that I was just going to play some Kill Confirm and some Ground War stuff. So, when I was playing Kill Confirm and Ground War, when I get that 100 killer drone, it's only like 450 points. That can actually get me, like, another tag. So, it's like 125 more points right there. So, what I do in this gameplay is when I get my 100 killer drones, I take it and I throw it, like, straight. I'll, I'll do that a couple times in this gameplay. It looks like a paper airplane when I throw it. And... I'm going to throw it straight at the enemy, and when this happens, it's going to come down and just shoot right into them. So, it's kind of like a super grenade, almost, if you would call it that, like I would. But, uh, I'm going to use it as a super grenade in this game, and I'm going to just throw it right at them. And then, when I do that, they have no chance to react, and it's almost like a free tag that I can pick up, so I'm doing that too. And another thing that helped me get my killstreaks in this game would definitely be other people's tags on the ground so not only do I have to get the kill but someone on my team could get the kill and then I could just go out and pick up the tags so that definitely helped me out a lot getting some extra points in there and the best thing to do with this gun I think is to kinda of play in some close quarters inside so here you'll see me coming back to this door a lot cuz I can play this door really nicely and this is this is gonna be the first example of my hunter killer drone where I throw it or maybe not but uh I'm going to use that and you'll be able to see how I'm going to use it like the paper airplane style and get the the nice almost free kill because this thing just is so fast and there's no time to react to it. So here I'm going to take it out and I'm going to throw it into the air right there. And I got a free kill right there. And I probably, I don't think I was going to get that guy because he was running around the corner and the car definitely helped me out right there. So that's another thing if you're kind of planning on how to get kills with your hunter killer drone. What you got to do is if there's a car in the distance or anything like that and you see someone run next to it kind of plan for the hunter killer drone to hit the car because the car will definitely increase the radius of the explosion so that's definitely a good way on how to get a lot of kills with your hunter killer drone and then you can get a nice emblem for it so you can put it on and stuff like that so in this game I'm gonna be playing a lot of close quarters with this three round burst B3 2R and the extended mags on it definitely helped me out a lot when I was running out of that ammo so it increases the ammo that you start with when you have that, when you have the extended mags on it. And also when you die, I was doing this a lot, you run around to the spots that you die and you can pick up extra ammo for yourself. So that's another helpful tip that I was doing in this game. And it definitely helps out in the long run because the B23R, unless you have a scavenger on, it really doesn't have a lot of ammo to start with because it fires off three bullets at a time. So you'll see that you start out with like uh, 63 bullets, which is a lot but uh it shoots three at a time so you have to kind of divide that by three and that's how many shots you're actually going to get with it but sometimes when you shoot the b23r you're going to shoot it and sometimes one bullet will hit them or all three bullets will hit them so you kind of try to hit them with all three bullets which definitely helps kill them faster sometimes this gun is a one shot kill and sometimes it's not so make sure to fire more than one and try to stay in close quarters because that's how you're going to get the most points or kills whatever you're trying to go for but it's definitely a good gun as a secondary if you're trying to get into the close range here I was just playing stupid when I got shot by this sniper because I really shouldn't have ran out into the open 
because I knew that the open was a bad idea and I'm trying to stay close to the indoors so I'm not really trying to stay outdoors at all because this gun is amazing when it comes up close it almost turns into a primary because of how good it is like the M8A1 is a 3 round burst primary which is almost like the B23R but the B23R is a secondary so they kind of downgraded it but it is still a nice secondary overall if you have any extra class spots that you can put on I definitely recommend putting the B23R because it's a low level gun and you can definitely get nice kills with it because of how easy it is to get kills with it and it's just nice gun because you see I'm rolling in, in the house right here getting all these kills on these kids because a lot of them are using snipers and or assault rifles and stuff like that so I can just rack up a bunch of kills because they can't get that close to me like my secondary I just whip it out or since I'm using it as a primary in this game it was really nice to use because all the kids that I was getting kills with were in that close vicinity so they wouldn't be able to escape me really and it definitely increases your accuracy with the B23R if you're inside because they're closer and the sights aren't that good on the B23R but I wouldn't really recommend putting on any of the reflexes because the sights just they're just weird so here I go again with the hunter killer drone but that's what I was hoping for there was a guy there earlier I think there was like a guy there twice in the game and I was hoping that he was gonna be there so I decided that I was just gonna throw it out that window and see if he was there so I can get an extra kill and in this game, I'm really sticking close to the corners, which is a good idea when you're playing with this gun. Sticking close to the corners can allow you to really get the maximum amount squeezed out because people won't know that you're coming around, or if you're sticking close to the corners, they can't see you. So right there was a perfect example of what I was trying to say to you guys, where if you stick close to the corners, it definitely helps you out with a lot of those kills that you're trying to get in. And then it can help you get up to your kill streaks that you're trying to get. Like, that's how it basically got me to my orbital VSAT. And then the orbital VSAT takes me all the way up to any kill streak that's higher than that because I can stick real close to the corners while using the orbital VSAT. And that brings me out to getting a load star and or dogs or a swarm or whatever I'm trying to get that's above that. But that's what the orbital VSAT brings me to. So the orbital VSAT is definitely the best kill streak in the game, is what I believe. Because. It's like a blackbird from the original one, and it definitely helps you out a lot when you're trying to get up onto your kill streaks, especially if you have anything above the orbital VSAT. And that definitely helped me out during the rest of the game because I just knew where everyone was and I could follow everyone up. And it helps you get all the kills because they don't know where you are, but you know exactly where they are, and you know where they're looking at. So it's amazing the way that that kill streak works. So I just love using it. And now in this game. This was one of the games that I really decided that I was going to start to use secondaries more in my classes because I realized that the B23R is a really good gun and you can put suppressors on secondaries too so I'm one of the suppressor guys that like to run around like a ninja so I'm going to try to get the suppressor for this gun which will help me move around the map more like a ninja so that's going to take up two custom class spots for my class but it'll definitely be worth it because it'll help me move around the ninja so I won't have to put a silencer on my primary for when I sneak up behind kids and take them out but uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys if you could go check out some of my other videos and like them up and comment if you enjoyed them also follow me on twitter go check out some of my t-shirts and please remember to like the video if you enjoyed the content and also comment below if you thought this was a good gameplay and tell me about some of the guns that you like to use some of the secondaries and or primaries that you guys like to use that's pretty much it for this video guys please remember to like and subscribe follow me on twitter this is x preston signing off see you guys later